Hey y'all, I'm here to do a collective reading for you. This reading is just going to focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be aware that the messages, they may or may not resonate. So only take the messages if they resonate. Okay, Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I say okay, Holy Spirit. You guys could be really connecting with the most high. You could be doing a lot of praying right now. Yeah, we have here acceptance and we have here change. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. And then we have here change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You would have been praying for change. But I'm also getting that there is a change that is going to be coming into your life once you accept something for what it is. This could be you trying to change a person. Okay, um, this could be because I'm getting that there's a circumstance in your life that can be changed once you accept something. Let's see what that might be here. You learning to accept the things that you cannot change is going to bring in some type of change. And look, right underneath happiness here. Okay, let's see, why is this acceptance here? What is it that the collective is accepting at this time? <clears throat> that wanted to pop out. What is that? The temperance card in reverse. Some of you guys could be feeling imbalanced at this time. Um, some of you guys could even be <clears throat> struggling with um, either some type of addiction or overindulgence in something. I'm going to turn that up right though. But that is something that you can change. Maybe someone around you um, is struggling with something and you're wishing or hoping that this person change. But... The thing is, people change at their own pace and at, 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 and at their own time. And there's nothing that we can do to change a person. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands. You could be connected to an Aries Leo Sagittarius or you could be the sign. There's something or someone you're very passionate about. You're being called to take action, though. The King of Wands takes action. This is not the King of Wands. The Knight of Wands takes action. It's time for you to become committed to your goals and bring them to life. I feel like a lot of you guys could be sleeping on yourself and your potential. You could talk yourself out of doing certain things. I'm, I'm getting no. Go ahead and get up. Let's see. Someone could be trying to talk you out of something. What is this? Why is it stuck to here? Okay. Oh, my God. We have here the Ten of Wands. We have here the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. Hmm. I'm getting here that you're starting to see something for what it is. This could be something that you are looking back to the past. It's like you could be looking back at something and you're realizing there's nothing you can do about it. So it's time for you to move forward here. Someone here could definitely be watching you too. You could be going through a lot of ups and downs, so you could feel like you have a lot of responsibility. And look, right underneath this, this temperance card, they say and take it in reverse. You could feel like <clears throat> you feel like you're carrying a lot. It's like you putting your blood, sweat, and tears and. Blood, sweat, and tears into something.
there could be something you feel like you can't change, but you can. But it's, it takes for you to see something clearly. This could even be an addiction. I'm getting, this message is not going to be for anyone. Or this could just be something that's imbalanced within you. This could be alcoholism because this, <clears throat> this can be healed. Tell me more. Let, let me clarify. Why is this temperance in reverse? Here we have here. This could have something to do with a relationship. Because we got here the tower, the lovers, and the eight of cups. Once you walk away from something and accept something for what it is, there's going to be a change in your life. You could be in balance because you're unequally yoked with someone that you are you have in your energy, whether this is a lover, a family member, or whoever. There's somebody you have to walk away from because you can't change whoever this is. This could be a Gemini. This could be a Scorpio. Okay? You're being called to walk away or there's going to be tower moment after tower moment if you decide to stay attached to whatever this is. Let's see. Let's let's um, clarify this change. Why is change here? And we got here King of Wands. I knew the King of Wands was going to show up because I said it. Yeah, we have here the Death. Strong Scorpio here. There needs to be an ending with a King of Wands energy. Whether this is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. There needs to be an ending. And I feel like once you completely walk away from something, things are going to transform not only for you, but for this person. Because you could be enabling someone's bad behavior. You could be enabling someone's. And I feel like you, I just be, I ain't even finished my sentence. Let me calm down. <clears throat> you could be enabling someone's behavior here. You dealing with someone is bringing extra responsibilities going to you, extra burdens that you don't need at this time. Because I feel like just with you, yourself, and maybe even your children and your job and your household, things you need to get done. It's just like, and then this person on top of it, you're overburdened. You're stressed. There needs to be an ending here, honey. There needs to be an end here. Somebody could definitely be draining you of your energy. <clears throat> okay, this is someone who you constantly feel like you have to look after. What is this change? Yeah, we have here the Three of Pentacles. This is someone who you work with. This person could be draining you of your money. You you have to like balance your money and. and this person could keep you guessing. You never know what you're going to get with this person. Sometimes you could even... It's like you could be putting in a lot of effort towards something or someone and you're not seeing any return. And that's because you're, it's time for you to walk away from it. It's like even somebody could have you so wrapped up in what they got going on that you can't even handle the things that you need to do for yourself here, collective. Yeah, somebody here is is emotionally manipulating you, too. And this is what's keeping you stuck. And you wonder why you're drained and you feel like you're not getting what you need to get done. Done is because you got somebody around you. Clarify this death here for me. Why's the death here? Yeah, the nine of swords and the devil. Y'all, I don't like it. Someone has you in this energy. You, This is codependency. Somehow you feel like you could save this person. I'm getting this time, won't you save me? Baby, I can feel myself giving up. You feel like you can save this person, but you can't. This person is has very toxic ways and, and addictions here. And they're going to always leave you in this nine of swords if you continue to try to change this person. Well, this could be you struggling with some type of addiction here. Tell me more about the death. <clears throat> here we have here the three of wands, the ten of swords. If you don't walk away from something and end something, you're going to end up being in the ten of swords. This is like you betraying yourself. 
what's coming in for you with this the ships that's coming in is this ten of swords. And I feel like intuitively you know it. What's the three of pentacles? Yeah, the nine of wands, you're blood, sweat, and tears. You could have even had to fight. You could have got uh, injured in some type of way. With the emperor and the king of swords. And somebody here doesn't even appreciate you. They feel entitled. The king of swords can be fucking mean. Controlling. Oh, I don't like it. And again, this could be someone in your family. This person could even be affecting your finances. Things aren't changing because you keep giving to a situation that you're meant to walk away from. I just keep getting. It's time to walk away from this. You have to accept someone for who they are. This person is not fit to change. And once you realize that, it's when your happiness is going to come in. This wasn't a failure because this wasn't your responsibility to be able to. This isn't your responsibility to fix anyone. It's not your responsibility here. And I feel like it's going to feel like a, um, mm, this is going to feel like a loss. When you walk away from this person, because in some ways, <clears throat> excuse me, in some ways you could have been codependent on this person as well. It's like it was something within you that made you feel like you needed to be this person's savior. But only people can only save themselves. Now, I've seen the envy card, y'all. I don't know why. I feel like there could be somebody watching you, though. I'm very envious of you in some type of form or fashion. I don't really want to get into it, but let me pull a few cards. I said I don't want to get into it, but it showed up for a reason. This could be somebody around you, though. This could be somebody around you. Let's see. Tell me about that envy card that I just saw. Yeah, we got here a light worker and dark magic. Oh, my God. There could be someone trying to do dark magic on you. This is for some of y'all. Why is this dark magic here with light working? What we got here pretending in secret. Like I said, there's somebody around you that could be doing some type of work. And I'm not even going to say work, but like dark magic could even be thinking negative thoughts about you, praying on your downfall, wishing ill will, ill intent on you. Maybe this is maybe someone is gonna become envious after you walk away or someone you walked away from. Tell me more about this. Yeah, we got here devilish and beauty and level up. Somebody here doesn't like the fact that you're beautiful. Someone could have been trying to affect your beauty in some way. They don't want you to level up. Someone here doesn't want to see you level up. Yeah, earth angel. You're an earth angel. You're royalty. And someone here doesn't like that. This is someone who's watching you, though. This could be somebody you don't even know. Yeah, unexpected in revenge. Hmm. What is this unexpected in revenge? Yeah, we got here ulterior motive and, and promotion. Don't worry about whoever the hell this is. They fighting against themselves, thinking they coming for you. They hurting themselves. Yeah, somebody here could be doing some type of gossiping, and they competing with you. Yeah, giving you fake love. This person going to be exposed, though. I feel like you already intuitively know who this person is. Let's get some signs. This may not be the sign of the person, but if you feel like you know who this is, if you see the sign, this is just confirmation. What's the sign of this person? Yeah, this could be a Leo. Alright, or an earth sign, or Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You could be an earth sign. What is, who is this person? Yeah, a Taurus or a Pisces. So it could be a Taurus or a Leo or a Pisces that is in this energy here that's jealous. Giving you some type of fake love here. Yeah, I get earth and Aries, a strong earth energy. Definitely could be an earth sign or that could be your sign. Or you could be a Leo. So either you could be one of these signs or it's, this is the person though. Because I asked who is this person that's um, feeling this way. Ugh. Let me get out of this energy. No worries. Ooh. 
You finna get a new job and a new lover. Somebody gonna be mad. Anyways, let them be mad. Send them peace, love, and light, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. What other messages do you have for the collective? I'm getting you've been trying to change this person. It's time to walk away. And y'all, I was watching Dream Girls the other day, and I'm getting a one night only song. You want all my love and my devotion. You want my love and soul right on the line. I have no doubt that I can love you forever. The only trouble is I really don't have the time. You don't even have the time. To deal with something here, collective. But let me tell you something. This message is for. Okay, so we this this message is for whoever is resonating for. You already know. First of all, you need psychic protection. There is someone trying to infiltrate your energy, especially if you do spiritual work, especially if you're a spiritual reader. Protect yourself. Pray. Um, Psalms 91, Psalms 121. Um, you can even use uh, crystals, black tourmaline. Um, but prayer is a great protection for you. But you could you could bless maybe a charm and pray over it and keep it on you and wear it at all times. Okay, this is what this card is saying here. And we also have here shine brightly. Let me tell you something. This is what came out for you. You're meant to shine. And I always get this message for someone who watches this reading and I say someone because you know who you are you stand out and this is why you feel like people may purposely either try to people may purposely try to act like they don't see you or people get upset when they do see you because of how much you shine it's your aura it's your light you can come in and dominate a room without even speaking People just want to know, like, what is it, what is it about them? What is it, why? Why do people gravitate? People could gravitate to you. And then you got other people like, why they, why they all over the collective? What is it about the collective? You understand? Let's go to the book, y'all. I'm going to read Shine Brightly. It's time for you to be proud of who you are. Come up from out the cave. Because I feel like uh, many of you may try to dim your light. I do feel like you do because you just don't want the smoke that come with you being who you are, being who you truly are, shining like the star you are. It comes with a lot, but I'm getting that you are prepared for it. You're built for this, so it's time for you to shine. Because you shining is going to change not only your life, but others' lives around you. It says, it's time, beautiful one, to light up and shine brightly. Be proud of who you are and what you stand for. During these trying times, you are very much needed here on earth. It can be scary to shine brightly or to stand out and be different, but do not hide your light or dull yourself down. You could be dulling your... Dulling you could be dulling yourself down now like i said dimming your light but light is what's needed at this time because there's so much darkness all around us it says you are not alone in this the universe is supporting you and helping you shine as brightly as you can so others can benefit from your positive energy 
You have the power to help show people the way. I'm getting you can turn enemies into friends. People who who's going to be hating you and bitter, they're going to end up loving you. These people that's giving you the evil eye, let me tell you something. They're going to end up learning from you. And anybody who gives you the evil, I know you got God's protection from this damn envy, from these haters. And I feel like you have the power to transmute this energy to benefit you. You could be very artistic, very creative. And there are upgrades in wealth that are coming into your life as long as you stay confident in who you are. And know that divine beings walk with you. And work with you at this time. There's something you should be doing on social media here. There's something in this is not for everybody. And if it's not on social media, it's at this new job. But whatever it is, you're meant to prosper from it. You're gonna turn this hate into love. You're gonna be manifesting so much money by you standing in who you are. And I got here a new job again. Some of y'all are about to get a new job. And you're going to be supported by people who you never thought would support you. People who didn't support you at first are going to start to support you. Because you're a blessing in these energy vampires' lives. You're a blessing in their life. So don't even get upset. Don't get upset because know that you are protected. As long as you stay genuine and you stand true in who you are, honey. It says, be a candle or light in the darkness. Lead the way so others can see where they need to go to find their own light. Because these people are full of darkness. Alright? But you are the candle to light them up. If you take your light, if y'all know how candles work, and if everyone's a candle, but somebody candle is not lit, you can be that light for them and light their candle. It won't always be an easy path, but you must be strong and remain positive right now. You no longer have to hide your gifts or who you are. Be proud of your unique spirit and shine as brightly as you can because you're so unique. You're meant to shine. You are needed at this time. And I know that it's not easy, but you were built for this. I'm getting you trained many lifetimes for this, honey. This is your destiny. This is your calling to shine and be who you are. If it's at your job, it's at your job. You won't be changing people's lives. People who hated you are going to end up loving you, honey. They're going to be like, how can I be like the collector? You see how all of these people, they're the same, but they're different. You're going to help others to be a candle too. And discover their own unique gifts. And go on their unique journey and path. Because we all have a unique journey and path that was destined for us to travel. God created all of us with a purpose. We all have different gifts. And as you shine brightly and as you express your gifts to the world, you're going to be a I'm telling, you're going to be a major change to so many people's lives. It's making me want to cry because the world needs it. People are in literal darkness, honey. They are. They're in darkness. And you can be the light for them. You can be that light. And I know you don't want to be the light. And this is not about fixing people. This is about you standing in who you are. And you choosing to, to shine regardless. And if and if somebody see your light. And they get lit up. Then that's what happens. If they don't, they don't. But what you don't want to do. Is drain your energy trying to fix something or someone. That is not meant to be fixed. They have to fix themselves. And you can be the catalyst. You can be that change. By you walking away. But some of y'all, y'all need to walk away from something or someone. This could even be addictions. This could be negative thinking. This can be you doubting yourself. Stop doubting who you are and who you were created to be. The universe, the most high, the Holy Spirit have your back, honey. Let's see. What other messages do you have for us to correct? What other messages do you have for us to correct? What else? 
what do they need to know? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for these messages. Yeah, we have here naked and fearless love. Ocean energy is here, honey. It's time for you to bear it all. You could be 30 years old. Your birthday could be on the 30th of, of a month or the 25th. But we have here, Mommy Bata, naked. Look, it says, Mommy Wata influences emotions and gifts her followers with clairvoyance and healing powers. You have the gifts that keeps on giving, honey. <laughs> you are awakening people to their own powers and their own spiritual gifts. It's amazing. It says, hide no more. Let me tell you, thank you, this, this, thank you, Holy Spirit. It says, hide no more. The emotional nakedness you avoid is your superpower, not your shame. What you're avoiding is your superpower. There's no need to be ashamed of who you are. It says being emotionally naked means being vulnerable enough for the real you to shine through. Vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. Practice being transparent. Start with the people closest to you. Say, I haven't been showing the whole me, but I am starting today. Have the courage to feel and express your feelings without people pleasing. Speak your truth. Share your story. Cultivate an appreciation for vulnerability in others. Be comfortable with feeling uncomfortable and making others uncomfortable. Because it's not comfortable for you to be different. Right? For you to Go against the grain. That's not comfortable. And when you do that, you make other people uncomfortable. But in that uncomfortable ability, is that even a word? In that, you're actually helping others to realize that they can be themselves too. And there's a goddess declaration. I have the courage to be vulnerable. You can be who you are, honey. We have here number 25. Fearless love. Look, we got here good juju underneath. Good juju, honey. I might read that one too. Y'all know I love this deck. It says, dare to love. Begin with loving yourself. Allow yourself to be loved. You feel everything deeply. You are porous with a wall around your heart. This is your paradox. You are love and you are worth loving. Your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love. You deserve to be loved in your language. You are worthy of a love that remembers your beauty at your ugliest moments. Don't allow your unhealed past to block your future. Real love is a sacred contract that says, I am vulnerable and committed. Your heart is safe with me. Let's expand our consciousness together. And there's a goddess declaration. I give love, I receive love, I am love. Yes, you are, honey. And last but not least, I got to read good juju. Ooh, and I want to read shame because some of you guys may be ashamed of who you are. I'm going to read these two and I'm, I'm going to be done, y'all, <laughs> with this reading. Because we got here number seven. Now, first, let me read number 19. I'm going to read shame first. I'm getting shame, shame, shame. I don't want to go to Mexico no more, more, more. So we have here shame. You are beautiful and loved. Every part of you and your journey is beautiful, even the ugliest moments. You have a heart, soul, and breath that makes you beautiful. There is something, two of these cards talks about ugliest. First of all, you're not ugly, you're beautiful. And I feel like the Holy Spirit is trying to remind you of how beautiful you are. I don't know if someone was telling you that you were unattractive or that you were ugly, but it's not true, honey. That's not true about you. Someone could have even been like, you acting ugly. So, but at the end of the day, you're beautiful. It says you have a heart, soul, and breath. That makes you beautiful. You are secretly scared that you are not enough. Shame is lying to you. You are not broken, unlovable, ugly, or unworthy. Shame keeps you small and hiding. Accept yourself now. You are a bright light. Allow yourself to see who you really are. 
You are doing the very best you can. You are lovable and you are complete. And there's a, a goddess declaration. I am protected. Know that you are protected. You are protected here. And we have your good juju, number seven. <laughs> it says, great luck is yours now. You have been granted the greatest inheritance. Embrace your divine abundance. You have good juju. This is a time of increase for you. You are heirs to a rich heritage of divine prosperity. And then prosperity show up for you. You are royalty. You come from a divine lineage. Accept your ancestral inheritance. Good juju is abundance. Luck is being supported by the universe. Abundance is the goddess way or God way. Just as you want abundance for those who come after you, your creator embraces wealth for you too. And there's a goddess declaration, all I do is win. Yes, you do. All you do is win, honey. All you do is win, 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 no matter what, okay? So I feel like I want to close out your reading with a... <laughs> no, this won't be last deck, y'all. I got to do one more. I just got to. It's like, can I get an encore? Do you want more? I think I'm going to pull from... Um... Let's see. I don't know. Well, you know what? Let's pull from these uh, angels of abundance. Let's get an angels of abundance. Let's see. Holy Spirit, holy angels. I don't know why I'm not feeling this deck. I picked it, but I'm not feeling it, y'all. I'm not feeling it. There's something about you um, being concerned about money. No worries. Know that everything you need is going to come. I'm getting everything you need and more. So have no worries, okay, about money at this time. All will work out. I'm going to pull from these dream cards. Let's see here. Cause I was watching Dream Girls, that's why I feel like we're your dream girl. Boys will make you happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're your dream girls. And all you got to do is dream. All you got to do is dream. Yeah, rise above. We got here elevator. Let me cut to that. Let's see. Yeah, it says air, airplane, spread your wings and fly. You could be taking a flight. But look how she, look how this light is just shining out of her. This is you, you bursting with light. It's time for you to spread your wings and fly. I came to win, to fly. Y'all listen to that, fly, by um, Nicki Minaj and Rihanna. Get ready for it. I came to win. All we have here, baby. Oh, It says reconnect with your innocence. And who we have here, departed loved ones. You are loved more than you ever know. Know that you are loved by the universe. Y'all, oh, let me get. I know I said that was the last deck, but this deck sitting right here. And look, this deck, look, it says, you are the dreamer of your dream. <laughs> Whatever you dream, it can come true for you if you believe it. Let's see. Let's see what else.
It says, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided because you are. And it says, I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes, you are. You are loved. And you are loved. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it says, my vibes speak louder than my words. I choose love no matter what. Always choose love. Because that's when they say the enemy. The enemy is hate, negativity, doubt. That's what the enemy is. But you know what? You can cancel that all out with love. Fear can even be the enemy. Yeah, attack, pain, fear, judgment, any form of separation are merely calls for help. Oh. Um, This is this is very deep, honey. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, any form of separation are merely calls for help. I'm telling you, this world, this could even be you. Maybe you feel like you need help, but the, the universe is here. Yeah, it says, I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. So you don't have to choose this pain. You don't have to choose this fear. You don't have to choose to attack. Yeah, there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. I'm getting, I'm bringing sexy back. The new sexy. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and close out this reading. Um, <laughs> I really hope that these messages helped you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Collective. Bye.